Hello students, my name is Shane and today you are in for an exciting visual treat. We will be experiencing some of the rare biodiversity that exists in Singapore's parks and nature reserves. All you have to do to experience it is head out there really quietly with your eyes and your ears peeled. You feeling lucky? I am. Let's check it out. Look at these cute Cody animals. Anyone know what they are? That's right, they are smooth-coated otters, the largest species of otter found in Southeast Asia. They can be found in the wild here at places such as Gardens by the Bay, Marina Reservoir, Sungai Buloh Wetland Reserve, and Bishan Ang Mo Kio Park. Otters are playful creatures by nature, full of mischief and fun-loving antics. Now look around you. Which one of your friends has characteristics like the otter? Someone who's playful, fun-loving. Hey, check it out. We have found ourselves an orb spider. Now, what's fascinating about these creatures is that the female is the big one. The male is that tiny thing over there. It's fascinating what you can see just from keeping your eyes open. From our swimming friends to our flying friends. Let me show you now the Oriental Pied Hornbill. Do you know that hornbills can be found only in Asia and Africa? In Singapore, the Oriental Pied Hornbill was believed to have existed in the mid-1800s, but later became extinct due to hunting and loss of habitat. But lo and behold, in 1994, a pair was observed nesting at Pulau Ubin and caused great excitement among the local bird community. The Singapore Hornbill Project was subsequently introduced and the project involved putting up artificial nest boxes for the hornbills to build their nests and lay eggs in. Today, there are about 100 hornbills that can be found in the wild in Singapore. From our flying friends, we move on to our gliding friends, the Malayan Kalugo, also known as flying lemurs. They're often mistakenly thought of as having the ability to fly, when in fact, they merely glide very well with their spread open skin membrane. In Singapore, they can often be found clinging onto tree trunks or hanging from horizontal branches in the Central Nature Reserve, Bukit Timah Nature Reserve, and Bukit Batok Nature Park. They are experts at camouflage, so it's a real treat when you finally manage to spot one. So keep your eyes open. And to round it up, we now go from our gliding friends to our crawling friends, of which many can be found in Singapore. Can you tell the difference between a monitor lizard and a crocodile? Why is the crocodile lying there with its mouth wide open? Can you spot which is a fiddler and Johora singaporensis crab? This crab is endemic to Singapore. That is to say, it is only in Singapore where you can find this particular species of crab. How totally cool is that? So, you still think Singapore is a modern city where you can only see animals in the zoo? It's quite amazing just how many wild animals you can see in locations not very far from you. And it's not just about seeing the wilderness, you can help it also. Like this group of volunteers from China Aviation Oil Corporation, who are spending the morning helping remove bad weeds from our parks and reserves. Environmental protection is a priority in our company. We feel fortunate to be able to live in Singapore, a country well known for its greenery. All of us have a duty to play a part in conserving Singapore's environment. Hello. 
So as you've seen, you too can play a part for the plants and animals in our city in the garden. You can help our city in the garden. So what are you waiting for? Get your gear on and head out into our precious parks and nature reserves and enjoy the great outdoors. I'll see you there. <laughs>